hi friends welcome back to laravel a tutorial today i will going to show you laravel helper in more details actually we have a playlist there is already 56 videos on laravel 8 and we have also a tutorial in laravel helper also but that time i have not show you how to access database from the helper and one of my friends asking us how to use database or allocant query in the helper so let's see how can we use database from helper and eloquent query from helper okay so when we learn about these things we have created this helper test controller so you can see all those things in this video that is laravel helper video i will give you this link in my description box and from that i will create a helper that is my helper.php and here i will create another function and we will access database from this helper and we can see this from this controller okay so let's see how can we use this so if we go to the environment we can see that is the laravel 8 so this is my laravel 8 database and here is some data inside the post table so if you go to the post table we can see about 25 records so let's use this table so first i will fetch the records from post table directly using the db query okay so how we can do this so first inside the helper class just import the db okay so right here use db okay and let's create a function that is function get post data okay so let's write dollar post equal to i'm using the db here so write db and the name of the table that is posts okay and to write the gate we know how to fetch record from database so write here gate and just return this record okay so write here dollar post okay and we will use this function from the controller okay so sorry here we need to write the table okay and we will use this function from the controller okay so let's create another function that is public function access data so i am creating the function in the controller that is the helper test controller and i am going to access this helper functions from this controller okay so write here a variable that is post data equal to the function name get post data so here is the function that is get post data and just return this that is a return dollar post data so now let's call this function that is access data so we'll create a link that is route suppose i'm creating the gate link and here write suppose db access and the controller name that is a helper test controller then colon colon class comma and my function name that is access data okay so just write it inside this invert comma now if we go to this link we can see the output so just go to this link and enter this so we can see the records are coming from post table so if you go and check so this is the record that is coming from this okay so this was an example to access db from helper so now i want to use direct model we will write the allocant query so for the post table we have inside the models have the post model okay so just use the namespace here so right here use app slash models slash the name of the model okay that is post so i am just replacing these things so i am just replacing this that is post and colon get okay so now if we go to the browser 
we can see the same output so you can see i am refreshing this so i am getting the same output means you can see you can access model from helper and we can write the allocant query also so helper is very much flexible so we can write anything which is more required things we can use these functions from anywhere in our application very simply so just we need to call these methods and we will get the output for this helper so this is all about the db access from helper so please comment if you have any queries about this video and in this way please comment in your others video also so we can create more and more video and learn more and more things by this way okay so keep watching this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and thanks for watching this video have a good day